Hello and welcome back to the Toronto Website Developer.com. I am P.D. Worski, the Toronto Website Developer specializing in Drupal. Um, and in this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at Drupal search engine optimization. I've been working on a premium video tutorial, but I've kind of fallen behind on the timeline. So because of that, what I thought I'd do is I'd give away a video tutorial for free on page titles. And what this is going to look at is it's going to show you how to drive some serious traffic to your website, focusing on keywords that you've chosen and how to implement them with the page titles module. For those of you that aren't familiar with page titles, uh, I can show you exactly what they are just to begin with. Uh, we'll go with a little refresher here. So, page title, the title is an actual HTML tag that's used on all of your pages. And what it does is it gets rendered so high up in your content that it's an extremely important tag for you to use for you to implement some of the keywords that you're targeting for. So, if I were to go ahead and let's take a look at a, uh, an actual page title in, in action right now. So, um, I've gone ahead and I've searched for a Drupal GMAP proximity search and you'll see that I've got a result here from torontowebsitedeveloper.com GMAP Drupal search proximity so four keywords that all get matched and bolded right there uh, I guess in an ideal world I should rearrange those to be that actual search tag because that's what a lot of people come to my site for but that said this is my page title right here this is something that I specifically defined in my website that gets returned all of these other um, tags that you're seeing here these lines these links these are all page titles that have been defined by by others so if I go to my page here and I go to uh, view page source you'll see in my HTML I have a title tag right here and this title tag is about five or six lines down from the top of my HTML which makes it prime for for search engines when you have a brand new website and you don't really have any credibility in Google's eyes, they're not going to uh, they're not going to crawl your entire website and pick up all of your content. What they're going to do is they're going to go through about a quarter of it, um, uh, rent, uh, index it, put it into their search engines, and then as people start coming to it or you start getting more credibility, they'll start indexing all of your site. Because this page title is so high up on your actual rendered HTML for a search engine uh, uh, spider, this is huge that you actually specifically define this for keywords that you're trying to target for. Um, for those that aren't familiar with keywords, those are specifically search engine phrases that you're going to try to to rank for in Google. One of the cool features that I'm going to be showing you in my premium Drupal video tutorial is a tool called Market Samurai. And what it does is it allows you to find those keywords that are hugely valuable and that people are searching for. Not everybody's going to be searching for um, what you would think of intuitively. So when I think of you know Drupal search engine uh, page title module, I might think of Drupal page titles module or something like that. But it's not being searched for. So what I do is with Market Samurai, is I can implement. I can just type in a simple keyword that I'm going to use. Um, do a little bit of research. It'll provide me with a bunch of keywords, suggested keywords, just like Google would, because it's drawing upon Google's data. But then I can go and I can analyze that, and I can see that. For Drupal SEO, which is what I'm going to target for this video as well as my premium video tutorial, there are 112 searches per day for that. Um, about 66% of people are specifically searching for that. Sometimes there's a bit of a variation on it. And there's only 94,000 other web pages that are uh, competing for that uh, page title or specifically for that keyword and that's that's actually pretty low uh, ideally you want to keep it around 40 to 50,000 if you're going to be able to optimize for something but there's a lot more uh, into the analysis that that uh, we would check into but the cool thing for Market Samurai is I can see that people are paying about eight cents to be ranked uh, to rank an advertisement on that keyword and per day it, it can make you about nine dollars so that's really low um, but to be honest I'm giving away this Drupal video tutorial for free and I just want people out there uh, kind of improving their traffic and, and making the web a better place I know kind of cheesy but what the hell so that said let's go ahead and we'll look at the actual page title module in action uh, on my web page you'll see that Whenever I create a page for torontowebsitedeveloper.com, I've got a Garland background uh, for administration theme, but I've got a page title field right here, and this is where I can specifically define what I want to be, uh, what I want, what keyword that I'm going to optimize for. And you'll see up at the top of my Firefox page here, I've got my my page title that gets rendered, and you'll notice that Peter Yorsi, Toronto Website Developer, doesn't show up here. That's because it actually comes into the administration of the page titles module. So let's jump into that. Over on my test site now, I've enabled uh, the page titles module after downloading it from Drupal. Easy to find, just go ahead and search page titles on drupal.org. Uh, you're going to download that, put in your site's all modules or wherever you keep your modules. Enable it, then you can go under content management. Uh, we're going to go to page titles, so admin slash content slash page title. And we're going to set this up. 
There's not a lot to the page titles module. Uh, more, of, more of what we're using and relying on here is actual your keyword research. Um, if you're interested in the keyword research, shoot me an email so that I can send you a coupon for their premium Drupal video tutorial. That will hopefully be out in January of uh, 2011. But that said, um, you'll notice page title here. We've got our default set up. So this default applies to any page that you specifically don't define uh, page title for. And I should clarify there's a bit of a difference here. So you're seeing right now we've got a default page page title and then I've also got this token for page title in here. What this token is, this is the actual node title. Uh, so when you're creating any content type you define a title for that. That's what this is pulling in. So my default for any page that I have here is going to be the page title and then it's going to be my site name. If you're setting this site up for a client, um, I highly recommend that you just do this and that way the client won't get confused as to why are they seeing page title and then title. I've had a, a number of inquiries for that and I found that the easiest thing to do is just set up a default as page title, allow them to use them as one of the same and just make clear to them that you want to have your keyword in, in the page title. Um, I'll clarify that as we go on. But So for now, uh, you can see if we go ahead, we'll click show field. What this will do is it'll enable the field for your specific content type. So that when you're creating that content type, you can define what that page title is going to be, the HTML title tag. So if we go to, let's create some content now. Go to create page. You'll see that I've got, I've got title and then I've got my page title. What the title is, again, this is just the node title. So let's make this specific. Drupal video tutorial. Uh, search engine optimization, if I can spell correctly. Optimization, right? Our page title, because we looked at Market Samurai, is going to be Drupal SEO, right? Because that's what we're going to target. Um, we're just going to call this Drupal SEO. And then in our body, we would add some text, right? This is a, let's go with some Boston language. Wicked awesome. Drupal video tutorial on Drupal SEO. Buckle up. So let's go ahead and we'll save that. So now we have this, we have this page. And you'll notice here we put in our, our title as Drupal Video Tutorial Search Engine Optimization for our node title. And then if we look up here, we can see Drupal SEO is our actual uh, page title. Cool thing about this, let's go and we'll check out some of our other content. If you're implementing this on an existing site and you're worried about going through all of your nodes to specifically do this, hopefully you've set up your, your existing node titles with your keywords. And then if you go into, let's say, extra page content number four, page titles module will actually render extra page, oops, sorry about that. It will actually render extra page content four as your, your page title, as your title in the HTML, the title tag. So you don't have to go back through all of your content. Uh, it'll pick up your existing titles, which is pretty cool. Last thing you're going to want to check out, go to content types. Let's go to add a content type. So we would set all this up. You'll see now you have page title settings. This is an easy way just to go ahead and go show the field. And if you want to create a specific uh, title for this, we could just call this, you know, you could hard code something, uh, you know, Pete's, Peter's video tutorials. And then just go with, um, you know, a page title, right? Um, and you would do that if, you know, you're specifically trying to optimize for Peter's video tutorials. You want to have a bunch of pages that specifically have that keyword. Uh, that's a good way to go about it. You would save that content type, and then you would show that field for everything. If somebody didn't implement it, it would just pull in this. Um, and you would go save that content type, and there you go. That's the page titles module. So that's it. Pretty short Drupal video tutorial. Like I said, a lot of your work comes from actually doing keyword research to identify keywords that you're going to want to target for. I highly recommend you use Market Samurai for that. There's a free seven day trial. Check it out. The, the Drupal premium video tutorial that I was talking about, hopefully have it out in the middle of January. Email me or sign up for our newsletter if you want a free 50% off coupon. Should be out. Should be pretty, pretty badass help you drive some traffic. Hopefully this video tutorial does the same thing. Again, um, page titles are, are definitely a tool that you're going to want to use. Easy way to, to get yourself ranked in, in Google. And I hope this helps. Anyways, happy holidays to all and hopefully we'll see you in the new year.